So I just finished watching Gen V. Let's talk about it. So Gen V is the spin-off to that absolutely amazing show known as The Boys. You remember that one with that little villain that flies around with a cape, you know, that does things to people, you know? Um, what's his name? I can't quite... Homelander! You know that show. Well, Gen V is the spin-off to that that runs simultaneously with it. So it is... It has characters from The Boys coming in. And I feel like if you guys love The Boys, you're going to love Gen V. And I feel like you need to sort of watch Gen V because I feel like things that happen in this show are going to have huge ramifications for The Boys moving forward. Because, man, it's... It's insane. So when we talk about Gen V, it has everything that I was expecting it to have and more. Like, we know how brutal the boys are. We know exactly what the superheroes are like in that movie and how they take it to a realistic point where if superheroes were in the real life, this is exactly how things would happen. Like, people who run really fast, if they misstep, they were going to run through people. Like, you know, that sort of stuff. Gen V has that as well. And it's insane. There's some insane kills in here that you're just kind of like, wow. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but let's just talk about one scene in particular where it's kind of like exploding genitals. If you guys have seen the show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And oh, I did not see that one coming. I'll tell you that right now. That was insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, it's just there's a lot of blood and gore, which is what you come to expect with a show like this. And that's why I love it, because they don't shy away from it. They actually show you, showcase this. Like, this is just the reality of it. Like, these humans can't go toe-to-toe, hand-to-hand combat with a superhero. And it shows you that. And it's absolutely brilliant. It's so good. And the, the visual and special effects, I absolutely love it. Like, they just... It's why we come to watch these type of shows to see that stuff. Now, as for the story itself, I really like this story as well. Like, you know, the story of you have this university, this college where superheroes go, they compete and learn to become a superhero. It's got a very much, like if you guys have seen My Hero Academia, it's got a very similar feel to that where they go to a school and learn to become a hero and then go out and become a hero. So you have that, but obviously we know with the boys, the seven isn't exactly what it seems and the whole superhero society isn't exactly what it's intended to be. So you have this school where they go and they talk and they learn how to become a hero and then hopefully they get drafted into the seven or they get drafted into becoming a hero. Like that's the whole main objective. So you have these kids going through it and then you have this guy called Golden Boy who is basically like the human torch who can light up flames on himself but he's very very strong with super strength you know fire you know all the sort of stuff just with fire on top of it so it's like really really cool you have him he's the number one choice he's the next homelander the one that's supposed to be rising up and become like this insane thing and then when he dies things start to unravel things really unravel and you start to understand what this school really is about and it's It's perfect because it's in the same tradition as what is going on with the boys, with that stuff, like the whole underground system that is going on, the the behind-the-scenes stuff to do with superheroes, how they want to manipulate, how they want to control them, how they want to control society. You know, this is happening in the school that is feeding that society. And I think it's so good, and it just, it works so well. And then you see... How many people actually have their own agendas and their hands in this mess trying to get control and vie for control? People that want to kill soups, people that want to control the soups, you know, just vaults in there with their sticky little hands like, you know, like when, how do we manipulate these people and stuff like that. So you have all that going on, which what is what makes the boys so great is that whole political side of things where they're actually different entities trying to vie for total control of everything. So you have that, and then obviously you have characters coming in and out of the boys in here, and there's one particular character that comes into this show that, mate, wow, she's just a whole nother level. She's a whole nother level, man, and it's just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy, and we learn more about her powers as well, and what she's actually capable of doing, and it's insane. But when we talk about the characters themselves, 
So we meet the first character. And I was like straight away when I found out about her powers about blood manipulation. I was kind of like, yeah, okay, that's, you know, that's, that's okay. You know, there's better superpowers out there. But then when you get to the end of it, you're like, bro, the power's kind of OP. The blood manipulation is OP. The way that they extend the abilities of it, what it can actually do is absolutely insane. It is insane. But her as a character, she has this great, she is, she is the starlight of this show where she comes in with the right intentions. You know, she's had tragedy in her past with what happened with her parents and her. And now she wants to be, you know, this hero that her sister can finally look up to. And it's like this wholesome idea that she has, like this motive that she has is so good. And it's like everything that you want to be, if you had superpowers, be this hero that can save everyone, you know, that people look up to. And then she goes on this arc where she starts to under, like discover everything that's happening at the school. And it's not quite what it's supposed to be. And, you know, it's just insane. It's absolutely insane. Then you have the other people who have powers. The, the chick that goes really small, man. That is one power that is just crap. Not being able to do that will. Like, you have to throw up to get small in that. No, thank you. Not for me. But she has her own little character arc as well. And I feel sorry. At the end, I feel very sorry for her character the most. Because, you know, she's just churning for someone to love to be with someone to see her for who she is and like you know just be there for her and then like when the stuff the twist and everything like that happens and so i feel really bad for her character i really do then you have jordan who's you know got this power of like it's like a force field sort of power but she's able to change from male to female as well um so she can like change her identity in a way but um she's got some pretty cool powers like she's able to withstand certain things as well that i'm kind of like okay so you are quite strong you know and then obviously her and marie have like this connection and stuff like that but then you learn more about these characters and what they actually did behind the scenes and it's pretty like it's pretty messed up man pretty messed up and then obviously you have the guy that's able to use force i would say like gravity sort of thing to like move objects and like crush objects and stuff like that He's cool as well. He has his own little character arc as well. And then you have this chick, the blonde chick, who can actually like manipulate your mind and like take memories away, give memories and all sorts of stuff. So she's kind of OP as well. But then you have like all these twists and turns going on in this show that I didn't see coming. I did not see coming at all. That made it just elevate it to a whole nother level. So look, overall, I really enjoyed Gen V. Is it as good as The Boys? I mean, it's, you can't really say that because The Boys has three seasons. The boys has three seasons. We're getting a fourth season. So it's clearly the boys are going to be higher. And obviously it's got Homelander and everything like that. Like these Butcher, you know, all these characters that we have been growing to love over the seasons. So I still have the boys way ahead of it. But Gen V, I tell you what, it is a fantastic solid start that actually adds and elevates the boys even further for me. So things that are going to be happening in this is going to come into the boys and it's going to you know, change some things that happens in the boys that I'm excited for. But Gen V for me, man, it's a thumbs up. I really enjoyed it. So let me know what you guys thought of Gen V. Did you guys love it? Did you not? Smash it down there. Smash that like button for me. Click subscribe and I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.